The Department of Veterinary Oncology at Wake Forest and the Head and Neck Cancer Service that we provide is the busiest in North Carolina. We have about a five-state referral pattern, and we are referred patients for uh, all aspects of head and neck cancer care, whether it be simple procedures, evaluation for chemotherapy and radiation, and also for microvascular reconstruction, endoscopic skull base surgery, open procedures for skull based cancers and this gives us the opportunity to um, give patients uh, uh, the full spectrum of choices and options that will provide uh, their best outcome and function. Robotic surgery has become an increasing part of our offerings and, and we probably average at least four or five cases a month. We have 16 faculty. 15 are clinical faculty. We have one uh, uh, pure basic science PhD faculty. At least three of our faculty are also, uh, besides being heavy clinically, uh, are involved in basic science research. Salivary gland regeneration with Dr. Sullivan, uh, working on scarring, uh, working on stents through Dr. Sullivan, uh, has really uh, opened up some avenues for head and neck cancer patients that have complications uh, or outcomes from their radiation and chemotherapy. Uh, Dr. Sullivan has spent a lot of time uh, developing procedures involving scarring of the esophagus and uh, the back of the trachea that he's been able to uh, treat people with uh, uh, what he has termed a retrograde procedure through the gastrostomy uh, port that has given a lot of opportunity for patients to swallow again. Dr. Uh, Oliver has been working on uh, hair cell growth of the inner ear through our regenerative medicine facility. Uh, and uh, Dr. Carter Wright has been working on tracheal reconstruction and regeneration. We also have research in our voice and swallowing with uh, care and treatment of swallowing issues. Uh, we have a laryngeal physiology basic science research effort. So we have a broad spectrum of clinically active surgeons that are also involved in basic science and looking for answers of hard problems. The Department of Laryngology at Wake Forest has a lot of goals that we want to achieve over time. One is, is just to enhance patient care and there are a lot of ways that, that we can uh, evolve through this uh, uh, to make care more efficient, to uh, provide uh, care that gives people the opportunity to return to their daily life faster. And, and that's always an ever-going challenge. Research is obviously an integral part of that. Uh, we have residents that we train. We have 13 residents at one time. Part of our mission is to train them in the same uh, philosophies of care and expertise that we have and, and that way we have the opportunity to care for many patients beyond the folks that we see in front of us. Uh, medical students uh, learn from us. So education, uh, clinical care, compassion, uh, and research all tie in together and, and, and those are uh, long-reaching goals that all uh, eventually uh, coalesce into better patient care.